So today I found this Gotcha Club mini movie called The Rich Girl That Fell In Love With A Poor Boy. This is by It's Red here, so I will have the original in the description down below and let me know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see me react to next. Hey Claire, I'm gonna get Ariel out of this school. She's been a mean girl for too long. She thinks she's the popular girl. <laughs> she's just a rich brat. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, oh, oh no! Did we hear you talk bad about our friend? Because if you did, you're done for. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Just don't punch me. <laughs> so weak. What a win. <laughs> what is going on here? Hey, girl, get this. This girl tried to get you out of the school. <laughs> Only because her feelings are hurt. What a little whip. <laughs> if you try to get me out of the school, I'll make you pay. <laughs> I'm rich, you're broke. I'm a higher rank than you. No one, and I mean no one, would have believed you in the first place. Kick me out, and you're a goner. Got that? Yes, Princess Alice. Good girl. <laughs> now get off the floor, you poor girl. Come on, girls, let's go. <laughs> okay. okay. You probably don't know me, but I'm Ariel. I'm the popular richest girl in school. Also known as the meanest girl in school. I was born rich. My stepmom is a mean girl. My dad is the best, but he never sticks up for me. These are my two best friends. This is Lola. She's protective, like really protective. She's also a rich mean girl like me, but she's not forced to. She just chose to do it. And this is Sarah. She's also rich, but she is feisty and aggressive. They're both my rich best friends. They are cool, but my stepmom forced them to be my friends. I never wanted to be a mean girl in the first place, but that stepmother of mine is forcing me to. Hey, Ariel, your cutie pie is coming. Ooh, time to put on an act. Hey, sweetie. We'll lead you to it. <laughs> so, how are you, my love? I'm doing great. How are you? My day's been good so far, since I can't be separated by you. Our love is too strong. Aw, thank you, baby. Oh, please, all you care about is the money. My money, specifically. I heard that girl tried to get you expelled. If she expelled you, then your mom would be mad at you. Again. Then you would have to move schools. Again. Only because you guys are making me be mean to everyone. We went through this already. You have to do this. It will ruin your reputation. Me and you are over. And her mom will not be happy about that at all. Since then, our companies will not merge. You understand that? I really want to leave this guy and find a new person. But my mom will get mad at me. And my dad will just agree with that monster. I need a new boyfriend. Hopefully one day I'll leave this country and never want to see him or that monster ever again! Well, the break is over. Yeah. <laughs> See you around. Ugh. I don't want to do math. Ugh. Why does the monster make me be mean to people here? Ugh. Ugh. My dad is allowing her to force me to do stuff. But now 18, I'm moving out and moving schools. Ugh. Hopefully get a better boyfriend. Ugh. I'm so sorry, but I have to run. Uh, 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 hey, you're not gonna pick up your queen. Oh man, I'm acting just like her. But still, help me up. After school. Wow, girl, you got detention. Yeah. For what? If it was that girl in the glasses. No, it wasn't her. Jeez, you need to calm down. Then how did you get in trouble? So I was walking to class normally. Totally not thinking of a better life. And, and then this boy bumped into me and didn't even pick me up. He didn't even properly say sorry or anything. Ugh. You know I get my hands on him. Ugh. What? Is that him? Ugh. Yeah, it is. Hey, you. Huh? What? Um. Uh, I. Uh, I. I what? Show him who's boss! Yeah! You look like a. Um. You look like an idiot! Uh, 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 you grab. 
grabbed my attention just to say that? You also didn't help me out! What? When you bumped into me! Oh, yeah. Then I found out your brat. So no apology from me. Good day. Don't you walk away from your queen! Oh, I'm going to go to my detention now. We'll see ya! Um, um, another good to adventure! <laughs> School. Hey, sweetie. What do you want? Your mom informed me she wants you home. You have to go to a business meeting. Why do I have to go specifically? It's for our business to combine. Ugh. This is for us, you know. For our parents. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, let's go. Yeah, uh, about that. What is it? I got detention. Oh, I see. Yeah, sorry about that. So you got detention on purpose to avoid this meeting? No, it's not like that. Shut it. Wait for your mom to hear about this. <laughs> uh, jerk. After detention. Uh, what? <laughs> Why is he going down poor alley? That's what she calls it, at least. If I keep stalling, I'm going to be late. And I'll have to deal with her nagging. Uh, uh, Great cheese here. Why are you home so late? I had detention. Nice try. You're using that as an excuse. I really did, though. I was late to class. Zip it. Even if you are telling the truth, you probably did this to get out of this meeting. I would never do that. Okay, maybe I would. Shut up. You gave me enough trouble. Go to your room. There's an outfit I want you to wear. It's the white and gold outfit. Okay, Sophia. Mom. I'm your mom now. Not my mom. What did you say? No, 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 nothing. I'll go now. Uh, all right, let's get changed. I'm alone. I can finally call her. Oh, yeah. Take that. <laughs> Easy game. What? Who could that be? Hmm. <gasps> bestie. Ooh, my bestie. Come on. Come on. Pick up. Hello? I missed you, girl. Uh, hello, Blueberry. I missed you, too. What? You called me in so long. Girl, you know Sophia won't let me talk to you because you're a person who is under me. Are you still with that guy? Fortunately, yes. What did I say about him? He's not for you. You have to find someone who's better for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. But like I said, your mom, yeah, I got it. But do you like anyone that you think that's your type? Um, well... Ariel, hurry up or I'm taking your phone! Oh no, I gotta go! Talk to you later! Wait, no! You're gonna... Jeez! Uh, Why do I even like that boy? He looks poor, especially with that outfit. But I wouldn't date anyone I actually like. Hurry up now! Uh, okay! Uh, to be fair, this dress isn't bad. If you're not here in the next ten seconds! Uh, okay, okay, I'm coming! Come here! in the car. Do I actually like that guy? If he is poor, then why do I like him? He seems familiar. Ariel. Yes? Stop slouching like that. Sorry. I finally saw my dad after a week on his business trip. The food was actually really good. And the people were really nice. The annoying thing was the actual thing we came here for. Somehow his parents were nice. But somehow they made that guy a jerk. People assume that I'm happy with my life. Because I'm rich and have money and a cute boyfriend. But in reality, I'm not happy. I can't believe that they wanted our business to collide. And they offered more money to it as well. It was worth it making that deal with them. You're right. But do you think... What? Do you think we should have asked Ariel if she wanted to agree to it? Uh... I just feel bad. Honey, we're doing this for the best. If we do this, her future will be more great. Hopefully you're right. Trust me, I am. Okay then. I need that money. <laughs> My headphones weren't on. I just hope tomorrow is better. Somehow. Ugh. Uh, yay, school. My mom is going to tell me to wear something pretty. Let's get this over with. Hello? Uh, what is this? Did she leave early? <gasps> Same with Dad! Oh, a note! Oh, God, everyone can 
see it. Hmm. Ariel, make sure you eat something light. You have to stay skinny and make sure you wear your pretty outfit. Nothing casual. Sophia. Uh, I got an idea. Yay, breakfast. <laughs> Looks delicious. Hmm. Hmm. What to wear? Let's finally wear something casual. <laughs> and change up my hair. Ha! I look cute. Now off to school. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Ariel. I hope you slept well. I did. Good morning to you, too. Here's the limo your mom requested. Actually, can I request another vehicle? Uh, oh, changing your mom's rules, I see. You know me too well. So what vehicle would you like? Hmm. Ooh, perfect. This day is getting better already. Yeah. Glad she's happy. Been a while since I saw that smile. Ten minutes later. Bye. Hopefully this day gets better. This day has gotten better and better! I got ice cream and had waffles and pancakes! Oh, my friends are there! <laughs> hey, guys! Okay. What are you wearing? Just a new look I'm trying out. You like it? Uh, um, hey, uh, we gotta go. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Bye. Uh, I feel like they're lying. We can't hang out with her. Yeah, we can't. First of all, she dresses like that. And second, her mother hasn't paid us this month. She's paying us monthly to be her friends. Since her mother only wants rich friends. Well, too bad. Until her mother pays us, we can't hang out with her. True. <sighs> I knew they were fake friends, but it still hurts. It hurts a lot. <sighs> um, Watch where you're going. He caught me. Wow. <sighs> No, thank you. Gee, she's a brat. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for catching me. Uh, did you say thank you? I'm... Um, yeah? Uh, so you're not a total brat? Hey! I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, one question. Yeah? I'm sorry to ask this, but... Are you... Or... Uh, why you ask? What? You gonna make fun of me if I am? I knew you were the same. No, no, no! I only asked that because I saw you going to Poor Valley. I forget people call it that. I'm not technically poor, but I'm about to be. Like, if it's your business. My job doesn't pay well. The person is about to collect our money soon for rent. That's why I'm home late all the time. What about your parents? My mother is sick and my dad passed away from a car crash. I, I'm so sorry! It's fine. As long as long as my little brother has a better life than I do. You know, when I can find him a better home and family. My mom said that poor people waste their life for alcohol and beer, but this is worse. He's not like that at all. She actually looks worried for me. Well, time for class. Yeah, I'll go alone to my fake friends. Fake friends? Hey, I don't have any friends, so wanna be friends? <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, yes! Whoa! That's how me and Steven became friends. While the other girls were ignoring me. Me and Steven were hanging out. We talked in class together for school projects. We got to leave early, and so did his little brother Mikey, so he hung out. He's so funny, and sometimes annoys Steven just to get a reaction out of him. <laughs> I had no idea hanging out with real friends was this fun. For the first time, I felt happy in my life. Thanks for buying us ice cream. No worries, Mikey. You seriously didn't have to get us ice cream. I wanted to. She's changed a lot. Because you know I'm awesome and beautiful. But it's still the same person as well. But I think I am. Um, I think I like her. Her ice cream is melting. Oh, shoot. You're right. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I definitely have feelings for him, but I've never experienced true love before, so I don't know how to act towards him. I'll worry about it later and just enjoy my ice cream. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, yummy. That was so good. You got chocolate all over your face. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> this is the most fun I ever had. Better than those two. Since we were just mean to people. Luckily, I made a new friend. Oh, there we are. to hang out now. Since your mom finally paid us, you can stop hanging out with that poor loser. <laughs> what? Ugh, I'm done being mean. I'm done being a brat. I'm done following Sophia's orders. I know you two aren't my real friends since my mom pays you. Just to be my fake friends. 
Don't come near me or my friend ever again! If you two were real friends, you wouldn't be my friend just to earn money from me! Let's go, guys! Uh, right. They really thought that I would be their friends after what I heard? Typical. Huh? Thanks, Mikey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I lost my cool there. Sorry about that. It's fine, Ariel. No one has backed up for me like that. It's fine. I can't let anyone talk to you like that. She has changed. I'm really starting to get feelings for her. I'm not sure how, but I'm falling for him. Oh, hey, hey, Ariel. Steven. Brother, there's a girl with blue hair running at us. Girl with blue hair? Huh? Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Ah! How dare you? How dare you hang up on me yesterday? I never knew you knew Steven as well. Wait, Lucinda? Yep, it's me. I haven't seen you in so long. I've been busy. <laughs> Playing Fortnite. Is she okay? Um, whoops. Don't worry her. Don't worry. And have a nice funeral. <laughs> Oh, never mind, she's alive. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's fine, I guess. So, you know Steven? Yeah, she used to protect me from the mean girls. We go way back. Oh, I see. Hmm. Me and him are just friends, you know. Um, oh, someone is jelly. Ah, uh, short H. I didn't say anything. What's going on? Nothing. Okay, then. This just got really embarrassing. I got an idea. What is it, bro? Let's invite them over to our house. That's a great idea. I haven't been to your house in a while. Um, please. I'm actually interested to see your house now. So, please. Please. Uh, fine. Yeah! You three make me laugh. Five minutes later. Then we travel to Steven's house. I haven't seen a normal house before. It doesn't look bad like Mother said. Uh, Mom? I know, I know. I should be resting, but I couldn't rest. Oh! Uh, Mom? <gasps> Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, jeez. After explaining that Ariel isn't his girlfriend. Guys, this is my mother. Hello, Lucinda. I remember you. Are you still causing trouble? I always am, ma'am. Trolling is fun. Still haven't changed. <laughs> and I already know you, dear. You do? Yeah, you and your parents have that huge business. You're sometimes on TV, Ariel. Oh, right, yeah. Sorry about that. I just forget how pretty and famous I am. <laughs> Sorry that I assumed you and my son were dating. It's okay. I'ma tease him. He is a handsome boy. Uh, what? Come on, just ask me out. I might say yes, cutie boy. Okay, let's go do something else. <laughs> uh, what just happened? Then we all hung out. It was really fun. Ariel, can you come over here, please? Sure. What? Huh? Yes? I'm really sorry to do this to you, hun, but I heard you knew how to cook. <gasps> yes! And I'm really tired, and my son can't cook. So can you... I would love to! I can finally show my cooking skills! Oh, well, okay then. Thanks, sweetie. No problem. I'll make sure this is the best food you ever had. Now let's get to cooking. I'll be off to bed. Ah, my best dishes yet! Homemade hamburgers! Time to tell the others! Hey, guys! Food is ready! Lucinda, can you take Mikey away, please? Sure. Come on, Mikey. Let's go read your comic. Okay. What's going on? Rent is due. I don't have the money right now. I can pay you next week, though. Enough is enough. Come on now, Liam. You know my mom is sick, and I have a little brother to take care of, and I just started a job. I don't care. If you don't have the money by tomorrow, you're out of here. <laughs> uh, Steven? What? Uh, how long were you standing there? The entire time. I didn't know you were going through that. Yeah. I wish I can give you money, but... Your mom, I know, she keeps most of the money. Well, I can... You might as well stop being my friend. What? I'm gonna be actually poor and homeless, so you can leave. I don't want you being my friend, since I'm just gonna be a dirty street rat. Thanks for being my friend, Ariel. You can leave now. After all that... Uh, I'll... I'll fix this! Trust me, it's for the best. <sighs> I will fix this. Trust me. Why are the lights on? Oh, no. Where have you been? Out. You've been out? Yeah. This child. I know you've been hanging out with another boy. Uh, how did you know? Jason told me. Oh, the jerk. I don't know why you're hanging out with a poor boy. Because it's my life, which I can control now. 
You're so ungrateful. You have so many things that a normal person couldn't ask for. Like what? First of all, never raise your voice at me. Hurry up and tell me. I can think of many things. Like? Well, let's see. You have one, lots of money, a lovely family, free will, and finally a loving boyfriend. Huh? You're wrong. What? What money? You keep it all the time. What family? That's always busy and you're always spending money on junk. Free will? I can barely do anything for myself. You made me be mean to people and act like a total brat. And four? No, he's not. W what? Loving boyfriend? He just uses me for money. He also wants me to marry him, which you organized. I never organized it. Shut up. I can't believe my dad chose to marry a person like you. I shouldn't. I wish you weren't my mother. Why am I feeling bad for her after all this time? Uh, huh? Cool. Her purse is there. I'll take the money out tomorrow. <sighs> Let's do this. Let's see. This money will do. Um, if you try to stop me, your car is waiting. Huh? Wait, what? I realized what I said and how I have been treating you these past years. Mom? No time to chat. So save your lover. Uh, what? Lover? It was obvious, dear. Now hurry up! Uh, what? Fastest car. We'll be here in five minutes. Uh, uh, Miss Ariel. Uh, uh, yeah? Let's go, shall we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my mom and my brother out of the house so they wouldn't have to witness this. Here we go. Rent? Listen, give me a few more days. No, tough luck, buddy. Get your stuff. You're getting out of here. But, but, no buts. Hurry up and get your stuff. Before I do, can you do one thing for me? What? Can you stay exactly where you are? What? Ah! Ah! Stupid dirty creature! Ariel, what are you doing here? Came here to save the day. But, but, when I went to school and had to pretend to be someone that I wasn't? I had a bad boyfriend. I had bad friends. I had a bad life. Then I met you. You changed my life when I met you. You made me happy and put on a real smile. <laughs> I don't care if you're poor or homeless. You're an amazing friend, amazing person, and an important person in my life. Uh, huh? Sorry to interrupt, but... Rent! Here, take your money! Uh! No one should mess with me. Because I'm the best. Just the fast. Also beautiful. What? What? You might as well date me. Uh, what? what, what? <laughs> I'm here to save the day! What? Oh, guess you guys covered it. <laughs> After that, my life started to change. I spent time with my friends and Blueberry finally joined the school. I apologized to the ones I hurt. Mom became more of a mom and Dad spent less time at work. I love Steven's little brother. He's so cute. My mom gave Steven's mom a job at the business. My mom told Jason's parents how he acted and ended the business collaboration. Jason had no choice to move school since I broke up with him. Me and Steven started dating. We're not officially boyfriend and girlfriend. I would like us to be official, but will he say yes? I hope he does. Oh my goodness, you guys. So that's part one of the rich girl that fell in love with a poor boy. This is a Gotcha Club mini movie by It's Red here. So let them know. Check out the original. It will be in the description down below and let them know if you want to see a part two. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.